everyone, it's Jo here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my favourite books. Um, these are books that I've read, some books I haven't read but I've read some of, not all, you know what I mean. Anyways, first off, this is a art book, um, one of my favourite films. I wouldn't say it's like one of my favourite films but I love the story everything about the story is great i don't like don't necessarily like the animation but um uh, my this is frozen the art of frozen i absolutely love this book um i accidentally got two um on amazon because amazon are stupid idiots i ordered one after the other separately <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway, this is the Art of Frozen. Um, my favourite Disney film is actually Beauty and the Beast. I love it. And um, but Frozen, I do love Frozen, but I just don't like the animation. If it, I mean, I love the animation, but I'm not a big fan of the computer AG type animation. I would have preferred it to be. 2D animation and it wasn't but it's okay because I got the book and it tells you all about how the film was made, what inspired the movie, um, the people, the voices and things. Um, I love the film <laughs> primarily because Edina Menzel was in it. I absolutely love Edina. I think she's absolutely amazing and well... Wow, that woman. Woo. <laughs> but anyway, this book is more of an adult book. Um, I, you, they're like, I, this is like for a collector's only, this book. Um, but I bought it on Amazon. At the time, it was $16.99. Um, originally, it was £25 or 40 US dollars. Who pays $40 for this? Hmm. <laughs> Um, anyway, I love this book. Um, please go and buy it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, on Amazon. Whoop whoop, Amazon. Okay, right. What other books do I have? Okay. Um, I have this book. Russell Brand's Trickster Tales, and this is the Pied Piper of Hamlin. I um, bought this, I can't remember where I bought this book. I think I must have bought this. I bought this in Tesco's for £6. They wanted, in the shops, they wanted like 20 quid. The bookshops wanted 20 quid for this book. I bought it for less than half price, more than half, about 70% off. Um, yeah, but I love Russell Brand, my man. Um, I do not have his book with me because it's in the bedroom and I totally forgot it. But I love his book, Revolution, it is amazing. So please read. I mean, I haven't really read this book, but I've you know, I glanced through it, <laughs> so it's really cool. Um, I love Russell. Hmm. Um, what else do I have? Do, 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 do. Um, I have this book. I've read this whole book within two weeks. Um, this is After You by jo Jojo Moyes. Um, you may have seen this in a video if you have watched my videos. Um, my hospital video, my hospital bag, it, um, um, my hospital bag what's inside my hospital bag yeah and this was one of the books i read in hospital i absolutely love this book i got lost in this book and i love the character um yeah lou her name's lou and she looked after a guy who was like a paraplegic quadriplegic i think it was a quadriplegic man and she decided to be his um carer and they basically fell in love and he at the end of the story the first one it was so sad i was bawling my eyes out now if you haven't if you've read the first one 
which I have right here, Me Before You. I love these books. I love her books. I think I've, I've read like three of her books. These two and another one. Um, I, I love these because it's just so sad. I mean, you feel the feel the pain, and the it's funny, sad, um, everything that's supposed to be in a book. You just kind of see it in your head how it would have played out. And I know this one, me before you, is actually going to be a movie. They've made a movie out of it. Um, it's going to be so cool. Hope they make movie out of this one. Um, but I like this concept now where they're actually making movies and um, uh, books and it's great because I read the book before and I tell you now the film cannot live up to the book so let's live it up let's see if they can do any better yeah, I have ooh, I have Bridget Jones, Mad About the Boy. I have, <gasps> excuse me, I've read some of this book. I got this for Christmas two years ago. <laughs> I've already read some of it. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Um, and this is the third book in the Bridget Jones series. Um, basically just is, Mr. Darcy is dead. Um, she has a child. Um, and it's all about... Um, dating uh, midlife, even though she was midlife when she had done it, you know, had been Bridget Jones. But anyway, I haven't read all of this. I've read parts of it, and it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's cool. And I bought Wicked. This is one of my favourite books. Um, Gregory Maguire. I actually, I think what I can't remember. I I think I saw the show. <coughs> um, first, I think actually I think I saw. I was reading this and watched the show. I've read this once all the way through and listened to the audio once all the way through. Um, I've seen Wicked three times, and it is amazing. In this, I mean, the show is amazing. The book is really, really, really dark. I never thought a book could be so dark in my life because you, you, when you think of Wicked, you think of all oh, singing and all dancing, but this is like the dark version of The Wizard of Oz. I mean, it is the prequel pre Dorothy, and Dorothy only comes in at the end and obviously does away with the witch, even though she's pretty dead. Um. I love this book. I have the sequel, um, Son of a Witch, and there's another one. There's two. More, there's four. There's a lying among a lion amongst men is the third, third one, and then there's another one. I a full volume of it, and I think that one's just it's about Galinda. I think I can't really remember. I saw it in Waterstones, but I bought this. I um had it from the library and didn't give it back. Oops. <laughs> but um it is really good this book and I'm here they're making a film out of it um I'm hoping I mean obviously they're going to probably do the all singing all dancing version but um I would like them to do the book version rather than the musical version because I think it's like whoa this is like a horror type thriller type book the dark there's loads of darkness in this book um, but it's great it's really good um, what else have I got um, you have seen this in another video um, before um, this is called Naming Jack the Ripper I have read this book I think it's absolutely amazing I am a big fan of Jack the Ripper um, yes okay <sighs> My cat is making scratchy noises on my sofa. And anyway, I this book is by Russell Edwards. It is very good. Um, basically, it all points to a Polish man. 
at the end, um, everyone won though. So I, Aaron Kaminsky is Jack the Ripper. Um, I don't, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, you know, I prefer Jack the Ripper to be a mystery because what he did do was kind of butcher with women. And although I'm, I'm not, I'm against people killing people, but I wanted to know what made someone do that. I mean, I, it's obviously someone who got some sick, twisted, um, grotesque, sadistic mind you have to have that kind of mind to do that i still think i like the royal family version where the royal family had something to do with it not obviously not the monarchy um like queen victoria and all that had something to do with jack the ripper um but i don't know i i like this version and i like the from hell the one johnny Depp was in he's lovely yeah mm -hmm. Um, what's the name? Abilene? Federline? Ab Abilene? Something like that, anyway. This book is the grooviest book. Um, what else have we got? I'll be back, because there's some books over there. I left. I'll be back in two seconds. <laughs> <clears throat> my cat's on the sofa on my chair oh, this is how much she loves watching me come on hello mama I love you hello baba hello baby see you you want to read with me <laughs> she wants to read with me how sweet um where's the Mummy has forgotten the book. Get down. Where is my other book? Get in a minute. Come on, I'm going to trip up in a minute. Cats, what are you going to do with them? Mm hmm. Cats, so. Um, anyway, I have my wad of books here. Um, mm -hmm. um, okay, now this is a well-known book, uh, obviously it's been used a lot, I've probably read this, I've read this book once all the way through, and then I have got Fifty Shades of Grey, um, I love this book, I'm the set, obviously, I didn't actually want to, um, the sex didn't bother me. I mean, the sex is just sex, you know, however you have it. But I like the story. The story, which is... The story intrigues me. So the journey these people go on, um, Anna and Christian, they're all... I love the journey they go on, rather than all the sexploits. <laughs> sexploits! Anyway. This is the first one. I have got the other two and I have grey um, on my bookshelf. <laughs> I haven't got them down because what's the point in getting them all down? Um, but I do like this book. Um, it's very intense and obviously the sex, again, um, it, it's like wow, obviously, at first and then you're like, again, <laughs> but in the film, um, with Dakota Johnson and um Jamie Dorman 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 I don't know um Jamie Dorman anyway they are a brilliant couple for the for this but they I don't think 
This is like the soft porn version of the book. The film is the soft porn version. This is the hardcore stuff. Um, obviously, you can't put hardcore sex in a film because no, one, you know, even though you'll get people to see it, it's not great. And I've just seen the trailer for the second one. Ah! <laughs> it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the story. I, I like the journey they go on. I don't necessarily like the sex but i <laughs> tell you now i was i did get hot flush for it all <laughs> you could be on the best reading and you're like <gasps> um anyway my next book is john steinbeck's of mice and men i have read this book i've seen the movie versions and i haven't seen the play but it's all this is a lovely brilliant book um, I got this primarily because we, when I was doing English last year, we actually had to study Mice and Men, so it's a great book. Um, I, you know, I want to, I want to know what happened afterwards, is what I want to know. Like, what happened after Thingy kills the, um, George kills Lenny, or Lenny kills George, or <laughs> whatever, um, it is. I just hate, you know, it's like well what happens afterwards you know they he kills his best friend you know but um what else um you know what's next um this is a movie book but i love it because it's actually the script um um when harry met sally um this book is um the script you can look inside and it's like the script um, I have read this and obviously done the book, you know, played a bit of it um, with friends and we're in fits of laughter because there are scenes in that film where we're all like, yeah, let's do it, you know. <laughs> but, it's, but I think I like this book. I got this book like years ago. Um, I do have a couple of scripted books like this. I have North by Northwest, um, the scripted version of this. I have the um, office scripts, I have the four weddings and a funeral scripts book, so you can read it and play along, <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do that, but I like this book, so that's that uh, me, um, this is not what I wanted, <laughs> okay, um, I haven't, I've read, I've only read half this book, um, the Fault in Our Stars, because I actually went and saw the movie, I was too lazy to read the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I tell you now, I was bawling my eyes out as soon as the, you find out it's the boy who is dying in when they go to Holland. They go to Amsterdam, they go to Anne Frank's house and by the way, which is really brilliant, it's beautiful, that house is, um, oh, part of it, um, there's a real energy synergy going on, anyway, um, this, um, I was just bawling my eyes out the minute he told her he was the one dying, and, I mean, it's the journey they go on, which is, Still, I mean, I love the journey people go on, like the two books I got there, Me Before You and After You. I love the journey those people go on after, before, during that time and afterwards. It is amazing how, you know, you can just feel their energy almost. But this is like really sad, so sad. It makes me cry. <laughs> but I do like this book. It's very well done. Um, I don't. I like this book. I don't really like the other ones. I have read parts of the other ones as well. Paper Towns and stuff. Um, something about Alaska or something. Um, I don't know. I like this one though best. Um, okay. And uh, now I'm on to a book that I bought after I bought um, Fifty Shades of Grey, and this I prefer this one the book I prefer this version um this is Sylvia Day Bar to You or Bed to Bared to your bar to you anyway 
I absolutely love this book. It's like Fifty Shades of Grey, but watered down slightly. Um, this is more the PG version than the that one. Anyway, um, this book is amazing. At I, it's just like Fifty Shades of Grey, but slightly better. Um, I do not think they'll be making a movie out of this one. Because if they do, they'll be comparing it to Fifty Shades Grey. I mean, I think this book already gets compared to Fifty Shades Grey quite a lot. I mean, there's a lot of smut books out there that, you know, get into sex and that. I mean, I, I love the odd bit of, you know, mm-hmm. Um, but, no. <laughs> oh, I love it. But this book is amazing. And this one is Gideon and... Um... Uh, what the hell was her name? It's not Anna. <laughs> no, and Ava. Eva. Gideon and Eva. It's a lovely book. Um, it's just watered down Fifty Shades Grey, really. Um, I do love this book. I bought this. I have the set. Um, I've got all. Of, I haven't read compared to you yet. I've read a couple of pages, but that's it. But there's another one coming out. Um, what's it? Um, one with you. It's called. Then it's the last one. Um, but you know, I think it's pretty cool that they brought these out. Um, I like the jet. I just love the journey these people go on. Um, right, I need to go back to my book because I got this book. Um, it's called Love and Sleepless Nights by Nicholas Spaulding. Um, I actually have the first one. I have the sec. I have this one. I have the first one. I have the one amongst the star. Um, love. Um, um from both sides. Oh. I don't even know. But the first one is called Love from Both Sides and. Oh, it's like the first time dating type thing. Um, these people, two people, um, Jamie and Laura, um, basically me, well, are on different, they don't even know each other at the beginning. Um, they go on all these dates. Um, um, she goes on dates and she logs it in her diary and he goes on all these dates and he logs it as well and basically it's um talking about their experiences in the dating world before they meet each other and oh my goody on it is so funny I can't believe it I I mean this the these two books are funny but I absolutely love the <laughs> I absolutely love the first one. I and there's a third one. No, there's a fourth one out, and it's called Love Among the Stars. And I haven't seen that one, so it'd be nice to get that one. Um, but the first one is absolutely hilarious, and I think I'm hoping maybe they could do like um maybe a TV series or a um maybe a movie about these people because it is absolutely hilarious and the man who wrote this book Nick Nick Spaulding is absolutely hilarious I mean I've never met the man of course but um he has done other books as well um but I absolutely love this book I think it's pretty cool um right and so that's that one now I obviously I'm gonna show you some other books that I do have I'm sorry if I did, it's my okay. I have my oh this book. I don't think you've seen this one. I think I don't think I've shown you guys this one, but I have this book. New this isn't really a book book, it's a cookery book, but I love this book. It's New York Cult Recipes. As you can see, I am a big New York fan. Whoop whoop. And um it's basically about it's recipes um, from New York, or you know, based on New, New York. Um, they've got healthy options, bad options, you know what I mean. Um, since having my operation, obviously, 
I haven't been able to really eat anything out of this book. There are a couple of things I, I can eat, but I haven't made yet. <laughs> but there is definitely some things I want to try out of this book. So maybe I can do a video where I am making something from New York Cup Recipes. Um, anyway, this is one of my favourite books. Um, I got this for my birthday, but I've wanted... Before my birthday, I, like, literally wanted this book forever. So ever since I saw it, I wanted it. Um, what else have I got? I do have... I haven't read this one yet, but I have... I went and I've seen what it looks like. And that is Rio and Rio 2. The art from Rio and Rio 2. I love Rio. I um I think it's really cool. Blue and what's the other the girl one called? I I can't remember. But I think it's really funny and really sweet. And yeah, it's really cool. And the artwork is absolutely beautiful in this book. Just I mean I do have another art book, um, it's the Art of the Prince of Egypt, and oh my word, that is amazing, that book, and obviously, because the Prince of Egypt is not anime, computer animated, this is computer animated, so is Frozen, but the um, um, other, the Prince of Egypt one isn't, obviously, if you've, if you've ever watched the Prince of Egypt, it's... Um, completely 2D animated. There is some com computer esque DreamWorks stuff going on in there, but it's um better that way. And my cat is just all over the place. Um alright what else have I got? I have um New York book. You don't need to know many more about that because I'll do about that. I've got Seeking New York Whoop whoop. <laughs> um, my New York photo art work book. Um, anyway, um, I, there are a few other books that I haven't shown you because, but I've already shown you them in other previous videos. Um, so I won't talk any about it anymore. Um, anyway, thank you for putting up with me. I know this video is like half an hour long. I'm really sorry. Um, but I just thought I'd show you what I like and. You know, um, I thought it'd be fun. Okay, well, I am off and out, and I'll see you again next time.